Welcome to All For You Cause Tara. We are back again with another channel message for the collective. Before we jump right in and get started, I just want to take a moment and say hi and welcome to new subscribers. I am so, so, so happy to have you on board with us. Thank you for becoming part of the All For You Cause tribe. As always, it is an absolute honor and blessing to read for each and every single one of you. That being said, we're just gonna jump in. We have a really interesting story here this morning. I was really excited to find that I actually had this deck of cards. Um, I vaguely remembered it, but I kind of found it this morning. Um, so we have the old woman, sadness, female, the husband, marriage, the groom. I feel like this woman and maybe her son. And then there's the witch and the magic and the curse, right? So what this is kind of telling me, I, it's like tale as old as time, um, but it's like somebody pointing a finger and utilizing a certain amount of hatred towards someone who is a little different or maybe follows different spiritual practices. Could be witchcraft, doesn't have to be, could just be spirituality or heavy on the religious beliefs, no matter what those are. Um, and there is a woman, an older woman and her son. Well, I don't know if she has been trying to keep this son away from uh, this witch. I feel like for quite a long time, but there's a lot of power in the situation. I don't know if this old woman has had people around her, maybe, um, maybe other siblings of this son of hers or cousins or friends and kind of gotten them on the bandwagon. I don't know if she's the one kind of, I hear the ringleader. So I don't know if this mother is the one that has been trying to cause problems for this, I want to say lovely witch, and that's how I'm going to say it, this lovely witch. Um, survival and power, I feel like has been the name of the game. I feel like this witch hasn't even had to try. I feel like divine is on deck and is protecting this person. I feel like you're the witch collective, um, whether you are or you're not. Um, but I feel like you are this spiritual person that is maybe being attacked for your belief systems or, um, the way you move through the world is different. And so different automatically in this person's eyes means bad. So, um, they don't want their son or their child going in your direction. And I feel like this is an adult person who can, um, very well make their own decisions about who they want to be with and which direction they want to go in. Um, but I feel like this doesn't have to be an older woman. It could also be an older man, could be a mother or father, an aunt and uncle that kind of wants to keep this person away from you. There is some type of money and luck. So either this potential, and now I love that this says groom because I do feel like that's where this person is their mind is heading. They're looking at you collective as if you'd be that right fit. And there is somebody over there that is not feeling it at all. Um, and this could have been going on for quite a while. Somebody has money here. So I don't know who it is. It could be you. It could be this other person coming in. Um, it could be both of you. But there's this situation where I don't know if money is being utilized in a negative way almost to try to keep this person like a certain amount of money might keep you here away from this person or maybe that was something that happened in the past to sway with money and gifts and things or um, divine has blessed this person with a good amount of money so they could even the playing field. Whatever this situation is, it's got really interesting notes to it. Um, I hear it's a song with interesting notes. Pregnancy fears, right? Yeah, this person, whoever this is, this mother figure, this, the person who wants to keep these two people apart, um, they're afraid that this person is going to come in and get you pregnant and then that that's going to be it from there sealed into the life for the duration right um you share a child with someone this might actually be this person's thought process collective so maybe be a little careful um i know they always try to say a lot of times that it's the female who tries to baby trap but um this may look like this male might come in to try and baby trap just to get this female off his back, 
right? Um, now, if I say masculine and feminine, I'm only saying what I see in the cards. Um, you could flip it and, you know, if this situation is right, but the masculine and feminines are in the wrong place, just switch it up. Um, it's just easier for me to read this way because it's a visual, right? Um, and easier for others to kind of follow along. But it's no disrespect to anybody. We love everybody here and your choices um, are just fine with me. <laughs> um, so relocation and home, right? They just do not want this person to move in with you or to, I don't know, have you move in with them. Something, they're, they may have people circling around you like hungry sharks. Um, I don't know if they're maybe paying people to kind of do that. I am seeing this there. Pearl, hidden gem. This is how this person sees you. Um, and maybe you see this person in the same way. Um, I do feel like this is a divine connection. I do feel like somebody is trying to keep it at bay. We have romance and sweetness there. There's a connection here. And yeah, there's playfulness and cooperation between the two of you. I feel like the two of you just go together. And no matter how hard this person tries to keep the two of you apart, um, whether they have people uh, jumping on their hate bandwagon here or not, I feel like um, it's just not going to work. There is abundance to be had and there's luck on your sides. There's strength and resourcefulness and resilience here. There's stability and growth going to be had between the two of you. There is nothing anybody can do to stop this. Um, the only person that would be able to stop this, and it's not really a person, I would say divine would be the only one able to stop this. Like I always say, when divine wants something to come into play, there is nothing and nobody outside of divine itself that can stop this connection from coming into fruition. That's just the way it goes. Um, spirit, spirit's got the go ahead. Look, we have the old man. Inheritance and mail. Somebody may have been left money by uh, inheritance from a male in their family, and that may have brought in stability and growth and change. This could be coming for someone. Um, so I don't want to scare anybody, but if this doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Um, I do feel like there is some type of inheritance coming in. This is also could be divine inheritance coming in. Yeah, love, new love. This is coming in no matter what. Jealousy and gossip. Yeah, I feel like that's what this... I feel like there could be... This person could have one parent that just wants them to be happy and one parent that wants to control the situation. The feminine in, the, in this particular situation could be the one who's causing problems and trying to cause blocks while the other may be hopped on deck to what their their adult child might want you know it's kind of what i'm seeing here this is a very specific message it's not going to resonate for everybody bits and pieces of it may resonate though you could have date dated someone who or someone could be coming in their parent may not be um as fond of you as one of the other parents, right? It just could be a little something like that, or it could be to an extreme where this person is actually trying to cause problems and breakdowns in your life. See, I think you're sitting here as this witch here. Stability, I just think you're, you're magic. I hear magic wild and free. Um, so it's that spiritual essence going on there. We have that anchor and that stability. That's what's coming in. I, like I said, nobody can stop this when spirit wants to come in. I do feel like spirit is bringing this into fruition. Um, I'm being told to do that. So I put the, the groom and the witch together. <laughs> Symbolization there. Um, yeah. Interesting, interesting. What do we have? The crown, success, and pride. I feel like it's coming in. Um, that could be coming in very, very soon. Could be as soon as today. All right, let's see. Where do I want to go? I think I want to go here. Do I want to go here? I think I do. We have a new beginning coming in with the maiden. We'll put her out here. Something playful and fun. Wow, solace the sun and darkness in reverse. Ooh, I love this. Um seeing with truth. Okay. Similar story, but, um, this is the type of energy that's coming in today 
we have that new beginning on offer. Someone may be coming in towards you in a very playful manner. Um, I feel like that's their way. I hear that's how they're getting their toes in the door. It's like they know that if they're sweet and fun loving and kind, they'll get closer, right? Um, and I hear closer than they've been before. So this may be someone who has not yet attempted to get close to you, but they know they can be happy with you. Um, this sun and this warmth is extremely powerful. I feel like it, um, it illuminates the darkness or the things that were kind of hiding in the dark. Um, and I feel like this person seeing with clarity here with that mask of Silvanius, they're seeing with truth that this darkness was maybe something that somebody tried to project onto someone or um, this was something of the past. Maybe someone was going through something, um, going through an ego death or dark night of the soul or really rough times in life. It could translate to just a bunch of bad news after bad news, right? And it can leave someone to feeling dark and low, right? Um, but it kind of seems like things have been balanced out. We have Penelope Dreamweaver. So someone's been daydreaming about how they can get this all together. And I feel like they're trying to really manifest it in the physical. We have the Bright Mother. I love this card. It is the Empress um, of the deck here. So I do feel like they see growth can be had with you. It's like magic. It's like the Empress, um, but also um, magic involved with it, right? So there's there's an extra element here. I feel like things are going to come into fruition with this magic person, or this is the way they see you, is that magical empress type energy, whether you're masculine or feminine, you've got something more. Whoa, he, the fiery sword was falling, but I caught it. <laughs> um, so I do feel like the truth is going to be spoken very, very soon. Yeah, they want that new beginning. They're making you a priority. They may seemingly come out of nowhere, um, out of the blue or out of the darkness to um, shed some light on the situation or something of the past. I'm seeing 1444, so it's like um, you could resonate with 144, but I was seeing all the fours. Um, so angel energy with all those fours. Whoa, the sage. I feel like your person is probably, um, I, I want to say it's like two magic, I, I heard two magic folk coming together. So. <laughs> I don't know why I heard it that way, but that's what I heard. Two people who have this magical element to them coming together in a union. Um, and they want to make it official. This is that Mike the Mime answer is crossing those T's, dotting those I's, reading the fine print. So it's, this is someone who's really done their research and knows what they're... I'm hearing um, Katy Perry. It's like... Uh, do you want to play with magic? It, that's kind of like the energy of this song. It's like, do you know what you're falling for? And it's like, I feel like this person very much knows the type of person that you are. I don't know if you have a magical element to you. We've got a lot of that energy today. Um, that's just how you're being seen collective. So even if you're just spiritual, it's like people see that as having a magical element. Um, you could have a really strong intuition and they equate that to magic, right? Um, because maybe it's something that outside of you they don't see, right? Um, you could be gifted. You could have gifts, clairs and all that good stuff. Yeah, they really want to ground this down into the physical. They want to, I hear, they want to sign that contract. It's like, I hear, I also heard prenuptial agreement. So that could be something that comes with this. One could want a prenup. I don't think anyone would mind. It kind of seems like that's just the contractual agreement is what I keep hearing. Um, it doesn't have to be, but I did hear that for some. Now, I feel like I want to take that. Yeah. I feel like this has been throwing people off for quite a while. This situation might have been throwing you for a loop for quite a while or this person coming towards you with that topsy turvets. I feel like there comes to a point now, though, where this person is sitting on a whole bunch of knowledge or they know that you are. They see you sitting on knowledge that they want to share with you. It's like 
maybe this is your past and they want to know they see that you've been through a lot if you look at this uh the lamb her wings are really tattered, um, so she's been through it. But you see how she's very calm and she's comfortable in herself. And I feel like maybe that was something that you've come from or something that your your person has come from. They sit on a lot of wisdom and knowledge because of the harder battles that they've gone through. So I feel like that's added a great amount of wisdom. Ba uh, like that's what's backing this person. So whether this is you or your person. Um, yeah. Now they this is going back to the past, making a beeline for the past. So um maybe this was a past situation that either never came in and is now coming in. Wow. And super fast too. We have Lua Foss the Wild. That zero to a hundred really, really fast. This person's coming in with the truth. They want to speak their honest truth. I really love it. Yeah, we have singer of intuition. This person could have been waiting for um that right feeling when it was time to come in it's like they were waiting on that divine okay you can go now now is the time they were waiting for that push um and i feel like now that's coming in for this person so they're going to be off and running in your direction very very soon with nothing standing in their way we have guardian of the gate in the reverse which means there's no no barrier there now Nalise the Alchemist. Yeah, this may be a situation that needs transformation um, between the two of you, but it is going to come out on the other side. We have Iris of the Rainbow. So this is after all the storms, the rainbow comes again to show that there's hope and peace um, coming into the future. I really love this. Yeah, and there goes that start on the new path. I feel like both of you are going to be walking this new path together. I really love that. Looks like great energy. Um, you don't have to jump in with both feet, but I feel like you're going to feel safe enough. I feel like this is the type of person that is like a true match. When they come in, it's like, um, you know that feeling when you've just known, you meet someone new and you feel like you've known this person the whole of your life. It's that type of connection. And there's a lot of laughter and a lot of, um, yeah, me too. Or, wow, I thought I was the only one. And it's got that energy to it and I feel like the two of you are just going to be like two peas in a pod I am seeing something a tether to yesterday's reading and I'm seeing that PB and J it's like the two of you go together and then once the two of you get together you never separate that's just the way it goes it's like the two of you come together and then you're stuck like that because you just work so well together so I am kind of seeing that tether there all right we have a bunch of interesting decks coming up I have two of the almost like what's the tea type decks so these ones always give kind of crazy stories or they seem to to me um but i was drawn to them so there might be a lot of drama going on out there i'm so sorry if these resonate for you and it's kind of drama drama but let's see i feel like that is something whatever it is oh cyber bully <laughs> okay so i'm sorry if you're dealing with this right off the bat love triangle yeah. Okay. Um, I hear last ditch effort. So I don't know if this person is trying with their last ditch effort to get you to run away and move in a different direction. They may have fake accounts that they're trying to cyber bully you so they don't get caught. Um, and the saddest part is I think this is a person who's supposed to be an adult. This isn't a child who you know, isn't fully developed in their brain. Um, this is an adult who just doesn't get it and thinks that this is this type of behavior is okay. Um, I don't know. I hear I would be careful. I feel like if this cyber bully were listening right now, I would try and tell this cyber bully, um, you should probably back off because really, I, I feel like heavy energy is coming for this person. Whatever they're trying to dish out, I hear wishing negative, wishing ill, wishing death on um, on someone. The karma is, is so bad. It, it's really so bad. I don't know if that's the type of thing that is been coming towards you collective um too busy winning in reverse that's this person that's what i i hear last ditch effort this person is losing 
they're losing in this love triangle. I feel like you might not even realize that you're part of this and you don't even know where this is coming from. For some of you, you're not with this other person. It's just this person is coming in your direction and that's why this person is triggered. Uh, the third person is triggered. Grudge holder. Yeah, this person is a grudge holder. They just, they don't like losing. It hurts their ego. Um, this is a very, yeah. This may be someone who actually tries to be like you too. Um, who tries to um, make themselves seem like everything your person might want. And I say your person just to kind of keep it clear. There's the third person, your person, and you. Um, I kind of feel like they're just trying to appeal to your person. Um, but it's not working. It's like they come off as being like a... I'm hearing like a, just a knockoff, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> I hear trendy bag versus Fendi bag, so it's like you know they're they're a really bad knockoff. Um, kissing ass. So I feel like that's what this person does. Uh, the third person does to your person. Dirt digging. There's nothing they can get on you, collective. I feel like you're just the type of person that. You know, they're looking for ways to get you to bite back and you just don't play their games. You see this immaturity for what it is and kind of turn your head and you're like, look, I'm over here. I'm too busy winning. I'm too busy um, doing everything that I need to do. And these people coming at me, they ain't nothing, right? Um, I feel like this person is actually haunted by that, the third person. Um, I feel like... Now, this person is coming from a trauma type of background um, because normal people, healed people, don't act like this, right? Um, this person is always partying, and it could be because of some type of past history that maybe, you know, maybe their upbringing was harsh. So I kind of see, like, this person may have had that, this third person may have had that type of upbringing where they had to fight their whole way, you know? So I get maybe why they're, like I can understand why they act in this childish way. I can understand it, but it's like, come on, do better. It's like, you don't have to be a product of that. You can choose to heal yourself and grow. And I feel like in that respect, this person is not taking responsibility for who they are as a person. It's like they're still kind of blaming their past on who they've become instead of putting in the work to become who they should be, right? Um, so that's the kind of background of the third person. So you can find understanding. I mean, I feel like this may get very annoying to you or you're to the point where you just in ignore it entirely and it doesn't slow you down, it doesn't even bother you. It's like this person is working really, really hard to um, try to stab at you, to wish bad on you. This is the type of person who would try to put an evil spell on you or to attack your health or your mon your money, your monetary success or your successes in general to make you look less than worthy of this person that they're trying to win back. Um, I feel like no matter how hard they try, they can't ruin your reputation because you don't you don't move sideways. And that's why they can't dig any dirt on you. You're not moving sideways. You're you're on the up and up. You're doing things the right way. Um, yeah, I feel like, I don't know if they've, maybe their person has had a thing for you for a really long time. And this third person may have known about it. Maybe their whole time that these two were together over here, this third person was concerned about them having an affair with you. You may have no idea that any of this was going on. It's like you're being hated for just being who you are because you stand out to this to your person, right? Um, I feel like bad, yeah, I told you, that bad karma is coming in. I don't know if this person has been wishing ill on you. And I feel like maybe really focused on that, um, focused on your you having bad health. Um, but I feel like that's gonna boomerang back on this person. 
Um, and it's nothing that you would do and nothing that you would wish for, but I feel like karmically, it's not gonna end well for this bully. It's really not, it's going to affect their health physically. Um, it could manifest in their life where they could start losing monetarily if they're hoping that your, your ideas and your whatever it is that you're doing in your life fails. Everything they go to attempt is going to hit rock bottom. It's like they're really thwarting themselves by trying to thwart you. So, um, I, yeah, I just feel like this person is not going to be moving in a good direction. I feel like um, spirit may allow this person to rise to a certain place only for them to fall and hit rock bottom because that's the karma that they're kind of uh, accumulating. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? It's like a warning for this person, although I don't know that that many um, of these cyber bullies would actually be listening to this type of channel unless they were doing so with a, <laughs> a side eye. <laughs> um, but hello, if you're listening. Cock blocking in reverse. I love to see that. Okay. Um, I love this. I feel like, you know, I'll say it, I'll say it again, I'll say it again and again and again. When spirit wants something to come into fruition, there isn't a person on this planet that can stop it. That's just the way it goes. When two souls are meant to come together by divine hand, um, there's nothing, and I see this huge hand swatting away or swatting back another person. It's like, it's not your time. It's like you had your time maybe, or um, you had your time to try, but I feel like what's coming in for you, yeah, this person may end up bankrupt, fishing for compliments or comments. Um, this person's a thief. No facts. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just feel like this is the type of person who just hasn't learned any better. It's like, I feel bad for this person. You know what, Collective? I would say pray for this person. Hope that they heal. Um, I feel like it may not seem like it, but that's the biggest in your face type of energy that you can provide as a good loving person. It's like, I hope you heal. <laughs> it's like, get out of my hair, but I, I hope you heal, right? I hope you move in a different direction. And I feel like this person needs to realize that this third person, or no, this person that's into you is just not into them, the third person, right? Sorry if this is confusing. I should figure out different names, but <laughs> um, I feel like they just can't get it through their, I wanted to say thick skull. So I don't know if that's what somebody was trying to say to them. It's like, I'm not attracted to you or I'm not I'm not going to be with you. It's got that energy. This might have been like a friends with benefits type of energy. And here you are, collective. I feel like this is the problem. Your light irritates their demons. I hear all I do is shine. Um, I love that for you, collective. I really do. I feel like keep shining. Keep growing. Don't, I would say don't invest time, effort, energy into this situation. When this person if this person comes in your direction, I feel like it's not an if, but a when. When this person comes in your direction, I would say don't even interact with this third person. Um, the less you bite back or, you know, it's like I keep hearing don't roll in the mud with the pigs. They won't be able to tell who the pig is. It's like you'll be just as dirty as this person. So spirit's advice allow them to keep their hands in this situation. I feel like spirit already has big hands in this situation. There isn't anything you have to do. Just bump up your protection, shield yourself as you would normally do. And um, I feel like it's, it's not even gonna, it's gonna dissipate as soon as it gets anywhere near you. Spirit is utilizing you for a lesson for this third person, but they're not allowing it to touch you, okay? So you may be aware of it, um, and you can bump up your shields, but I feel like you might not even have to. I feel like spirit is just saying, this is what's going on. We're allowing you to know that you're becoming a lesson for this third person. Um, 
you know, because they have every ability to make the right choice and to move back and say, this isn't right. This, I shouldn't be treating people this way. I shouldn't be wishing that on this person. They're just another person, right? Um, so it's like this person has every ability to make the right choices, but they're not. And so spirit is usual, utilizing that as a lesson. Um, that's what it is. I feel like you might get a person out of this. I feel like your person may even be trying to protect you in this situation. Maybe that's why they haven't stepped forward yet. I feel like that third person's got a downfall coming. I, I hear swift. Swift downfall coming because of the karma that they've been accumulating. And I feel like, you know, you might think it's just for this situation. I don't feel it is. I feel like this person acts up, acts like a fool um, with every situation that they come into contact with. It's just they act up and it's it's not just with you. I feel like it's like they've wished bad on others just because, you know, this person might walk by someone and think, oh, well, that person's prettier than me or that guy's hands like more handsome than I am. I hope he da 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 or I hope she blah, blah, blah. So it's like that's the type of energy that that this person kind of operates in and spirits like over it. So I feel like that's what's being kind of taught through this situation. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, they may allow you to feel a little tired. You may feel a little tired when this kind of stuff hits your shield. Um, but I feel like that's all that you're gonna get from it. It's just a little tired. Um, let's see, did I do this one? I don't remember which ones I've done. And all right, so I think I have this one. All right, we're gonna go here. Let's see what Spirit has. I may or may not do the next one. Okay, we have love call, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, information, informing you. We have separation in reverse. So, wow, engagement ring. Okay, that escalated quickly. Um, I feel like you have someone coming in to express love to you, um, to kind of, I hear tell tell their secret. It's like it's 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 time. Um, this person may want a commitment with you or may have higher commitment in mind. Do I think they're gonna come out and meet you on the first day and want to put a diamond ring on your finger? No. Um, but I do feel like that's what this person their intentions are moving this towards the future. I feel like this person has really thought about it too. It's like you're not a spur of the moment person. You're not something that they just decided, oh yeah, you know, if it works out, it'll be great. It's like this is, it's like you're that one person that this person coming in is thinking, this is my person. I know it. I feel it. This is the one I've really been thinking about. So, we do have girl with a snake, charmed or used in able boundaries. I feel like maybe you've been through it in the past. Um, you don't have to be a girl. You could be a guy with a snake um, who was used or charmed in the past. Um, you may have set healthy boundaries in the past and maybe this person is a little concerned that they might not be able to step a toe over your boundaries. Um, not that they want to infringe upon your boundaries. I just feel like, um, they're not sure where your boundaries are and maybe that's a little nerve-wracking where to step um, what to say when they come in I am smelling and tasting chocolates like from like a heart-shaped candy box um, which is crazy because I can't eat chocolate um, but I'm tasting it um, and it's really strong it's like I feel like that's how this person kind of I don't know if maybe this person's been trying to come towards you since Valentine's Day. This could be that Cupid's coming late energy um, for someone. Wow, I can't get the taste out of my mouth. It's like it's like the dark chocolate with the, the raspberry cream filling. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm tasting right now. So it's like, I don't know if... I just feel like there's a sweetness here and this person wants to get to the romance of it all wants to um get to the yeah look blowing you kisses unconditional love giving and receiving fairness and love and it's great that this fairness and love is coming in with charmed used and boundaries so it's like this person wants to give you the best of them, which I really love to see. Um there's that swift communication coming in. They want 
this particular situation to ascend or to have a phoenix moment. This could be someone from the past. This could be someone new. This could be someone new who wants to have a phoenix moment in life or yeah, look at that heart healing. For those of you that this is a past situation, look at those sweets. Um, it's very Valentine's looking. Um, I do feel like there is going to be a heart healing in this situation. This could be a twin flame situation. We have that mask in reverse, which I really love. So this could be a twin flame coming in. There is transformation and evolution and growth to be had. The next phase of this situation could be coming in and it could result in marriage with those wedding rings. I feel like the timing is right for love. I feel like you're gonna be, I hear shook again, but this says shocked. Um, or shock. I feel like this is going to be a shock. This person's going to come in all of a sudden, just out of the blue. And um, I feel like it's going to turn out really, really well. I love it. I wasn't expecting the good to come from this one, uh, this particular deck, but I love to see it. I feel like you've got a good opportunity coming in. This person really has the best intentions. So um, I love seeing that. All right. Last one. Do I want to do it? Yeah, why not? Happy Saturday, right? For those of you getting here on time, these are timeless, so, you know, whenever you get here. I hear something about my person, and I hear he. Certain qualities. Okay, so I don't know why Spirit wants me to kind of bring this up. Oh, okay. Okay. A talking point so r really quick um, I'll, I'll timestamp everything so if you want to skip this later on you can um, something about am I are my standards too high right and then I heard you personally so me personally um, when I look for qualities in a man it's like for me personally it's a man it could be you know whoever for you. <laughs> but for me personally, um, it's like I look for certain things. I look for kindness. I look for love. And these are things that um, I look for laughter and someone I can really communicate with. I feel like there are certain things that are really important to me. So I want someone who's a good communicator um, because in past situations I've dealt with um, communication in that department is lacking and it makes things really difficult for two people to get on the same page, right? So understanding is someone who loves like I love, right? Or similarly, right? Um, and, you know, I've heard some people say that, you know, are your standards too high is what you're looking for keeping you like lonely. And I feel like, no, I feel like because I'm not willing to settle for what's not meant for me, right? Um, and I feel like maybe that's a talking point between you and your friends or someone is saying that your standards are too high or what you're looking for is too high. I feel like within you, you know what you're looking for. Um, so don't settle for less, right? Um, now, I know nobody's going to be perfect. I totally get that. And is my person going to come in and tick every single one of my boxes? No, but are the important things going to be there? Yes. Um, because that's, that, that's where my comfort zone ends. If you, you know, you're not a kind, loving person, um, and you're coming in flashing your wallet, you're not my type of person. That's just not, you know, it's not something I would gravitate towards, right? So I feel like, Spirit just wanted to say, it's okay for you to have your deal breakers when it comes to people. Don't allow what's going on outside in the everyday world to like kind of throw you off because I feel like a lot of people may be saying that, um, almost kind of downing you and saying that, well, you know, you would need to be better in order to get better. Um, as far as a partner. And I don't like to hear that. I don't feel like anybody on the outside should be telling you, um, you know, what kind of partner you should be looking for or where your standard should be, right? Um, I don't know why that had to come out, but I feel like it really did. So I don't know if somebody was dealing with that. And I feel like I have to pull from the center here. Rejection in reverse. Um, I kind of feel a tether to it, actually. So Maybe someone is coming in. Um, maybe someone that 
you thought had rejected you or previously felt rejected by this person and maybe assumed that your standards were too high or maybe your friends were saying that, you know, this is the type of person that's not going to be interested in you. Like, you know, like friends, I, I kind of feel like that's who's talking. You need better friends. That's not a friend. Um, you need people who boost you, people who um, can look at you as a friend and say, girl, you look gorgeous. Um, get out there. Have fun. Um, you're worth it. And if they're they're not and they can't see it, then they're not worth your time, right? You need those type of friends. You need someone, someone that can, you know, you can try on a bunch of clothes as a female and say, which one? Um, and they're not going to tell you the one that looks less hot on you because they're jealous, right? That's not a friend. <laughs> I'm talking about real friends. The one that says, oh yeah, go with the red or, oh yeah, go with, go with that black one, right? Um, and I'm just saying like, even for guys, there's that, that different, like, um, I don't know, man, what should I say? And they're actually giving you good advice versus trying to thwart you, um, because they're jealous of you. It's like, I want to say get better friends. It's like, see that for what it is, see it for the clarity and, um, make some changes because I feel like that's going to really do a number on your self-esteem. I feel like when people constantly try to bring you down, um, I hate to see that for you. I really do. Emotional storm. Um, so this situation, there may be someone coming back around that your friends told you was not interested in you or wouldn't be interested in you because you were aiming too high. Well, this person comes back in and I feel like maybe they caused you an emotional storm or some turmoil or feeling unstable within yourself or less than confident about who you are as a person, right? Or how far you've come. Um, I don't, I don't love that at all. I, this might be the realization that it's not the epiphany, that it's not you. Um, it's the people you're surrounding yourself with. They're just not, yeah, commitment in reverse. I feel like maybe you were committed to these friendships, like overly committed to these friendships and um, you were honest and true with these people and they weren't giving you the same. Um, yeah, we have boundaries in reverse. So I feel like that's what Spirit's saying. You need to set some healthy boundaries, um, not just with the men that, or women that you want to date, but with your friends as well. It's like, I feel like they're overstepping or um, they're just not, they're just not treating you well. I f yeah, stress in reverse. That's what we want. We want to put these stressors to bed. We want to leave them alone there, leave them in the past. I feel like maybe it's time to stop running from what you see, those realizations. Um, instead of longing for growth, I feel like you need to just pull back and actually do the growth thing because, um, I feel like you're not going to be able to grow in this type of environment, right? Um, it's really tough to grow where you're not being watered, right? Um, confessions. I feel like these people would never confess to the fact that they're jealous of you or that um, you look great or you're doing well or um, these are the type of people that won't celebrate with you, right? Or they may pretend that they are, but they're competing with you the whole time, right? This is that energy. Um, I feel like it's time to pull back sorrow, loss, grief, depression. Yeah, it's time to pull back. I feel like we're going to put that in reverse. We're going to start over. Um, yeah, there's karma, consequences, cause and effect, and debts. I feel like that's kind of what these people got come in to them. I feel like you have a depth of love and kindness. I feel like you're very self-aware for the most part. I feel like you know your value and that's why you didn't settle for less in the beginning, right? Um, and I feel like, you know, that could have triggered your, your friends too. It's like, you know what you deserve and maybe they'll settle for anything that they can get. And it makes them feel low that they do that. Right. Um, maybe cause they think they can't pull like you pull or get what you get. Right. Um, so they tried to kind of bring you down. I feel like you were trapped in that situation, but now is the time to nourish yourself so you can grow. Um, yeah, I, you are dealing with some very shallow people. Um, I feel like you can find your true soulmates out there. You might go through a period of um, 
a little more lonely of an energy until you find the right types of friends or maybe there's one in that group that you might want to surround yourself with but the rest they've got to go or something like that you know I feel like it's it's good to meet those people with silence um yeah we have fantasy and daydreaming in reverse I don't know if these people just want to be you I feel like I feel like just knowing all of this will bring you peace. And, and that's where I'm going to leave it. It'll bring you balance, harmony, and peace. If you look for new friendship, friends friends like soulmate friends, you know, the ones who you can really connect with. Um, you may also have an actual soulmate relationship coming in too that might take you away from this friend group just a little bit more. Um, and it might afford you the time you need to find peace within yourself. Um, to put that conflict and that confusion and stuff in the past. All right, that is what I have for you. I wasn't, you know, sometimes these decks surprise me. I wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah, don't let anyone tell you where your standards should be as far as who you want to date and what you think is right for you. I feel like, um, you know, I feel like as long as we're looking at ourselves object objectively and, you know, we know that we're, we're beautifully flawed and we know that someone else is going to come in and have their flaws, right? But it's like those big key elements, those things we need to see, right? That's what we're waiting for. So there's nothing wrong with that, knowing what you want. You want someone who's loyal and honest and true and someone who's kind and loving and generous with their time, their effort, their energy, right? Someone who comes in being stable-minded and balanced. Um, notice how I didn't say anything about their wallet. <laughs> um, it's like, that's kind of one of the things that, um, I don't know. Now, I'm not saying I hear Dusty Krusty. It's like, we don't want Dusty and Krusty. I get it. But, you know, I feel like when you're looking for your person, I feel like the, the real key things are not going to be what's in their wallet, what's in their bank account, right? Especially if somebody's working to um, really better themselves. It's like they might not be there yet, but that doesn't make them not uh, worthy of your time, right? Okay, let's take a sip. Okay, let's see. I hear you and oh I hear you and me I don't know it's like something about rhyming <laughs> I, I heard something about hijack your phone so I don't know if someone is looking through your phone or wants to look through your phone and I hear something about a nuisance. I don't know if someone is messing with your phone or I don't know if it's like a friend who's going through your phone and messing with your um, your images or posting up things that you don't want posted up for the world to see. I feel like some of those things are actual like, I don't know if it's like private photos that they're uh, okay, so there's, just be careful with your phone. If you have uh, racy pictures on there, um, keep those somewhere where they're kind of tucked away um, and not where someone can utilize them against you. Um, yeah, a partner, it could even be a partner who is, I don't know if they're sharing those photos with others around them. I don't know. Um, but if you care about that kind of thing and you don't want your pictures out there for the world to see, I would say maybe either get rid of them or put them somewhere safe. Okay. Um, and I don't know if maybe change the passcode on your phone. Something along those lines. Okay. Let's see what we have for the collective here. What do we have for this gorgeous collective? Okay. Ooh, what fell? Oh, the little, okay, the little boy soulmate with a love offer. Hmm. 
I hear sweet on you. Um, yeah, we have that soulmate energy coming in. I feel like things are going to get cleared up in this situation. I don't know if there's some miscommunication going on, lack of communication going on, but there is going to be a love offer. And I feel like it's going to be very easy to see that it's a love offer. Maybe whereas before it wasn't as easy to kind of see. I feel like this person sees you um, very highly. They see you as someone very special. It's like, you know, there are a bunch of stars out there, but there's only that one moon that you can see in the sky, right? I feel like you're that moon for this person or you're the sun, you know? It's like you're of importance. Um, we do have, I, I wanted to say masculine ancestor coming through. Um, and I am hearing I'm fine and it, it's, I don't know if this person was sick Okay, so this is a very specific message. Um, this is from a crossed over masculine loved one. Um, I normally see this as being ancestor energy and pulling in good energy, but I have a separate message. So for those of you who have lost a significant masculine energy, so a father, a grandfather, an uncle, somebody really specific, a brother, um, a cousin, somebody very... Um, they're coming through, it, I feel like this person was sick, and I feel like what's kind of coming through is where I am now, I'm not in pain, or I'm not hurting anymore. So, um, I, I feel like that's something that you need to, to hear, is that this person, you know, is not suffering anymore, and it's like they're happy, they're well, they're, it's like, I, it's like seeing this soul all lit with light. And it's like nothing hurts anymore. And it's like something to laugh about. It's like um, something something to celebrate over. And I feel like the soul is celebrating over the fact that they're not hurting or in pain now. And I feel like they want to share that with you specifically. There's an I love you in there. It's like I love you. And it's like maybe you need to, to see me this way now. It's like so you don't hurt over the fact that I was hurting that's kind of the message that I'm getting. Very specific as far as uh, I do hear something along the lines of cancer or a sickness, um, something something like that, right? Um, so a happier soul, um, just sharing that they are whole and happy again, okay? Um, so that's for whoever it's for. I'm sorry for your loss. It could be old, it could be new. Um, big hugs to you. Uh, we do have this little soulmate, this health, wealth, and happiness. I feel like this is something that um, I, I do want to say a masculine soulmate wants to bring in to you. Um, they want to bring uh, this happiness and this, I don't know, it's like a wealth of good times and knowledge and I don't know. They just want to share it all with you. So I really love that this is coming in. This is a big offer and this could be coming in very, very soon. This is something you don't see coming with that cloud. Um, really exciting. This could be coming in as soon as today, um, going out throughout the month or throughout the summer months is what I hear. Really gorgeous energy. Okay, that is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!